elasticity refers to the relative responsiveness of a demand or a supply curve in relation to any of its determinants. We can also define that elasticity measures the responsiveness of one variable to a change of another variable. Specifically, there are four main types of elasticity that we will discuss, which are price elasticity of demand ED, income elasticity of demand EY, cross elasticity of demand EX, and price elasticity of supply ES. First, we are going to see the price elasticity of demand. Price elasticity of demand is used to measure the responsiveness of quantity demanded to a changes in its own price. The formula that we are going to use is the percentage change in quantity demanded per percentage change in price. Or in some cases, we can use the second method to find the value of elasticity. This is the degree of price elasticity of demand. First, for a perfectly inelastic, quantity demanded does not change like the price change. For example, quantity demanded of medicine remain the same even though the price increase. It is because actions cannot change their consumption based on price. The value of price elasticity of demand is equal to zero. Second, for inelastic, it is a condition in which a change price of good causes smaller percentage change quantity demanded. For example, an increase in the price of petrol will lead to a select decrease in the quantity demanded. The value of price elasticity is between 0 and 1. For the third one, in unitary elastic is a condition which change in the price of good equal change in the quantity demanded. The value of elasticity is always equal to 1. The next one is elastic. A change of price of good causes bigger percentage change in quantity demanded. For example, when the price of chocolate increased by 5%, the quantity demanded for the chocolate will fall by 10%. The elasticity value is greater than 1. The last one is perfectly elastic. The change in the price will change the quantity demanded by an infinite value. As you can see, the demand curve is perfectly horizontal. You will get infinity for the value of elasticity. Now, we are going to see the factor influencing price elasticity of demand. First, availability of substitutes. A good with more close substitutes will have a higher elasticity when price increase. Consumers can choose good to another good. For example, tea and coffee are substitute. If the price increase, consumer may change to buy the coffee. Second, nature of goods. The demand for essential goods is inelastic. For example, consumers still have to buy rice even when the price is increased. Meanwhile, the demand for luxurious goods is more elastic. Even the change of price is small. There is a large change in quantity demanded. Consumer can choose to stop buying delicious food if they want. That is consumer's habits. For consumer who are habituated to food like cigarettes or coffee, the demand will be inelastic because it becomes an essential item to them. As a result smoker, they want to smoke no matter how expensive the cigarettes are. Next, joint demands. For complementary goods, the elasticity is linked in a similar way. For example, if the demand for brick is elastic, the demand for jam also become elastic and vice versa. In addition, time frames in the short term, demand become more inelastic. 
it takes time for consumers to notice and respond to price change. Also, in short run, the goods that are demanded will have limited substitutes. Lastly, consumers with high income, they have an inelastic demand because being richer, they are less sensitive to price changes. Income Elasticity of Demand The definition is to measure the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded due to a change in income. Income elasticity is calculated to determine the type of a particular good, whether it is a normal, luxury, inferior, or necessity good. The formula for calculating income elasticity of demand is EY equals to the percentage change in quantity demanded of good X divided by the percentage change in consumer's income. In income elasticity, there are four degrees of responsiveness. First, inelastic income. The type of goods are normal goods like food and clothing. An increase in income leads to an increase in quantity demanded, but the increase in demand is less than the increase in income. Once inelastic income elasticity is calculated, we will get a value between 0 and 1. Next, elastic income. Examples of goods are luxury goods such as antique furniture and sports car. Elastic income is the opposite of inelastic income, in which the quantity demanded is more than the increase in income. The value of elastic income is greater than 1. Moving on to negative income elasticity. Type of goods are inferior goods. For instance, low-grade potatoes and broken rice. An increase in income leads to a decrease in quantity demanded. The value we will get is less than zero or negative. Finally, zero income elasticity. Necessity goods such as rice and bread are the type of goods. An increase in income will have no effect on the quantity demanded and it will remain unchanged. Therefore, the value is equal to zero. Next one is cross elasticity of demand. The definition for cross elasticity of demand is to measure responsiveness of quantity demanded to changes in price of other goods. The formula that is used in this subtopic is percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in price and it equals to cross elasticity of demand or in some cases you can use the second formula which is shown in this slide. Moving on to the degree of cross elasticity of demand. The first one is complementary good. The cross elasticity value for complementary good is less than zero. This is because when the price of a good decrease, the quantity demanded of other good will increase. So for example, we have cereal and milk. The next one is independent goods. The value of cross elasticity for this one is equal to zero. A rise in the price of products will not change the amount requested for another product because both commodities are not linked. For example, cereal and pencil. The last one is substitute good. So the cross elasticity value for substitute good is more than zero. So when price of good increase, the quantity demanded of another good will also increase. For example, is butter and margarine. Price elasticity of supply. Similar to elasticity of demand, however, Elasticity of supply measures the degree of responsiveness of the quantity supplied 
due to a change in price of a product or service. This is the formula for calculating elasticity of supply. The change in percentage of quantity supplied is divided by the change in percentage of price. Or you can use the second formula where the new quantity minus old quantity is divided by old quantity, then multiplied by old price divided by new price minus old price. Degrees of responsiveness in price elasticity of supply is where we look at the shape and slope of the supply curve to determine whether it is elastic or inelastic. There are five degrees of responsiveness. First is perfectly inelastic. Perfectly inelastic happens when elasticity of supply equals to zero. No matter how the price changes, the quantity supplied will stay the same. For example, if the price of land increase, the quantity supplied will stay the same because land is a very limited resource. Next is inelastic where elasticity of supply is between 0 and 1. A change in the price of a good causes a smaller percentage change in quantity supplied. For instance, the quantity supplied for nuclear power will only increase by a small percentage despite the large increase in price, because nuclear power takes a long time to be made and processed. Third is unitary elastic, where elasticity of supply equals to 1. A change in the price of a good causes an equal change in its quantity supplied. Fourth is elastic where elasticity is more than 1. A change in the price of a good causes a bigger percentage change in the quantity supplied. For example, the price of a fidget spinner increased by 10%, so the quantity supplied will increase by 20% because fidget spinners can easily be produced. Lastly, it's perfectly elastic, where elasticity equals to an infinite value. The change in price will change the quantity supplied by an infinite value, meaning the quantity supply is unlimited at any given price. Moving on to determinants of price elasticity of supply. First, technology improvements. If a factory bought newer and more advanced machines, they can produce their products at a much faster rate. Hence, the quantity supply will be more elastic. Next, time period. In short run, supply will be more inelastic because quantity supply is limited. However, in the long run, supply becomes more elastic. For example, supply of rice will be inelastic in short run because farmers have to wait a long time to produce rice. But in the long run, once farmers have had enough time to harvest and create more rice paddy fields, supply will then be inelastic. Next, availability and mobility of factors of production. If the factors of production such as land, labor, and capital are easily available, then the quantity supply is elastic. For example, if boba drinks are trending and the ingredients such as tapioca pearls is widely available, then supply will be elastic. Next, nature of the market. The easier it is to enter into a market, the greater the number of firms will be available, making the market supply elastic. For instance, if a firm sells rubber gloves, they can also enter the market for other rubber products because they are using rubber as their main resources. Hence, the market supply for rubber-related products will increase, making market supply elastic. Lastly, perishability. Perishable goods such as milk and bread does not last long, making the quantity supplied inelastic. Whereas, for non-perishable goods, the quantity supply is elastic because suppliers can produce more supplies as they last for a long time. 